What's good, YouTube? DM Gaming here, guys. And yes, finally, I, I get it. Finally, I am going to speak on Sparking Zero. But before I do, real quick word from today's video sponsor. Welcome to Trust Dice, your gateway to top-notch crypto casino action and unbeatable sports betting. Trust Dice is one of the largest crypto casinos and sports books with a global user base of over 100 countries. Check out the incredible odds we have for upcoming esports events. Don't forget, we also offer popular in-house games like Dice and Crash for a variety of gaming thrills. Trust Dice isn't just about gaming, it's about creating unforgettable betting experiences. With stellar reviews and unbeatable odds, it's time to place your bet where it counts. Check the description for direct links to the esports betting section. Enter Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. Guys, if you're new to the channel, click the subscribe button. Don't forget to turn the bell icon so you don't miss a single upload. Don't be a point there to get out of the portal and become five stars. So, or seven star in this case for Dragon Ball, you know. Guys, I've talked uh, before, especially in regards to like Black Myth Wukong, games like that, where I didn't pay much attention to it. Because once getting the game, I have had so much of a, uh, a better experience with the games. Sparking Zero, I talked about, I have talked about it on the channel. If you follow my channel, you see that I did talk about this game when it was first announced. A little bit later, once the first trailer came out and things like that, and then people was like, yo, DM, break down the trailer, break down the trailer, break down the trailer. I noticed something in this process that a lot of what I do is more speculatory based. And with this game, it's just straight in your face. It is just it is what it is. There's no lore involved. There's no you know what I'm saying? Like, I, you know, I'm excited for it. I do. I have content planned for it because you can actually create fights. And what I want to do is design my own uh dragon ball saga based off of the game because you can literally create your own fights so i plan on kind of creating my own fights recording it and making episodes of that so if you're interested in that now is the time to subscribe to the channel because when the game drops you know i'm gonna begin working on that process and so with that being said guys i really hadn't talked much about sparking zero because for one, what you see is what you get, if that makes sense. I, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I'm never one to do a video just for the sake of doing a video. Because when you do that, people can tell. That energy comes out through your video. It comes out through your voice. And it's like, bro, just going through the motions. You know what I'm saying? I understand being a hype train. Nothing wrong with that. You know what I'm saying? But I truly truly am excited for this game I, I i'm excited for all things anime i love it i'm excited i'm fired up for it i like destroying planets and and rocks and boulders i i love the destructible environments and you know like i said i i have been let me go to the channel here because i have been discussing this at length um, and you can find that playlist, bro. That playlist is somewhere in here, right there. Sparking Zero playlist. See, we do, we've done 19 videos over it. You know, you know what I'm saying? Dating all the way back over a year ago. This one is the one that people, I, I would implore you to watch. Because this tells you that DM Game has been on it for a very long time. In that, guys, I told y'all. I said very long ago and and it was probably another unreal engine 5 video i did or next gen that when the new dragon ball game comes out they're gonna put it out on next gen guess what bam sparking zero the big time game not nothing minor like you know breakers that was on last gen this is only on next gen i also told y'all that with the un when the unreal engine 5 was announced and they did the whole neo demo and stuff like that or the matrix demo which by the way we need that game okay but anyway, seeing that demo, the first thing that shot into my mind was Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball. Oh my gosh, because everything operates independently of itself. And in my mind, I'm seeing like, bro, that's perfect for like destructible environments 
and putting a hole in the ground and it stays there, which they were able to accomplish that on Ultimate Tenkaichi. But the way that they were able to do that was by changing the map itself. No, no. And I got Donald Trump hands going right here. No, people. That's not what's going on here. Everybody knows I'm probably the best at what I do. But no, what, what Unreligion 5 allows this game to do is literally affect the actual map in real time. You get what I'm saying? So along with the plethora of other things, the light textures, that's why the key blast looks so phenomenal. The smoke, the rocks flying, you can fly through the smoke and find your opponent in real time. Oh my gosh, guys, I am excited for this game. I have, but I will say this. I haven't been watching videos of gameplay. Have I seen some here and there? Yeah, I've seen some here and there, but in, I haven't been paying a lot of attention to it, okay? Um, I've kept up with the characters. I, I do watch the character trailers, but as far as the game itself, I think whenever they first showed gameplay, I watched it. Other than that, I haven't really watched it because, number one, I already know what to expect, man. It's Tenkaichi, and I'm going to tell you, the gameplay that I did see, oh my gosh, it looks phenomenal. It looks phenomenal. Now, I'm going to be honest here, okay, because I, somebody did uh, make a post saying, you know, oh, no Dragon Ball Sparking Zero glazing. Uh, no, and here's why. While I do enjoy a good Budokai Tenkaichi game, while I do enjoy a good Tenkaichi series game, Raging Blast and stuff like that, I'm bigger into games like Kakarot. Kakarot was my love child. You know what I'm saying? Like this, that game, because it's open world, you can, well, not open world, open sandbox. You can fly around, do what you want, stuff like that. Those are the type of Dragon Ball games that I want to see more of. These games, I like them, I enjoy them, I'm all for them, but they kind of get old a little fast. I don't quite feel that way with this one, though, as much because of the fact that you can create battles and stuff. So that, that element of newness is always there, if that makes sense. But I'm real big into power scaling. Like, I, you know balance i would say balance rather i like kakarai because there's no balance like if i'm playing with ultra instinct goku i should be able to one tap krill him you know what i'm saying i'm one tapping you know because we could do that in kakarai and it's actually not very fun but I, I like being able to literally own and destroy my opponents and i guess you could still do that in this game if you got good enough at the at the sticks you could easily do that you know but that's what I'm more interested in, if that makes sense. So I do like this style of game. I enjoy playing it. Don't get me wrong. But, you know, I'm not I'm not raging over it, pun intended, as some other people are. Will I get it? Yes, sir. Will I play it? Most definitely probably going to play it all day. But it is what it is. I, I, I want to get that raw experience of it. You know what I'm saying? And that's why I hadn't been watching a whole bunch of gameplay. I want to turn on my PS5 and my television and be blown away with how amazing the fights look, how amazing the graph. Like this right here, this right here gets my coach and whistle rock, if you get what I'm saying. Like, I like that. The light show, the theatrical, the Unreal Engine 5 in real time of these blasts. Like, I want to be able to destroy mountains and rocks and all that kind of stuff stuff the sky get dark when i charge my key those are the things that me and my brother used to always wish that they had in dragon ball games and for them to have it they had a sense of it in rage and blast this game is basically budokai tenkaichi meets tenkaichi meets rage and blast that's basically what this game is because there's elements of all of those combined and i love it because i've always said why not just combine all the best things from all the dragon ball games and make the perfect dragon ball game this game will sell millions this game will probably sell more copies than black myth wukong did on, on in the first week and that was 10 million this game could easily reach that number because that many people are excited about it because you're going to get the people like me who like the kakarot style games you're going to get the people who like the real fighters and then the 3d fighters this game is going to be stupid man it's going to be stupid and people are going to buy it like hotcakes you know what i'm saying i'm fired up for it guys i am going to be talking more about it um uh, I mean, with a month away from release, bro, it, 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 it'll be okay to go in and start watching some gameplay. You know what I'm saying? Maybe some live reactions because I haven't watched a bunch. You know what I'm saying? I, and, and I talked about that in an older video kind of where we're talking about how content creation, 
Does it ruin video games? You know, I don't know, man. I don't know. But let me know what y'all are thinking. Are y'all excited for it? I know it's a dumb question to ask, but who's not excited for it, I guess? I really don't care if you're not excited for it. Who's excited for Dragon Ball Sparking Zero? Who do you think the DLC characters will be? I'm really thinking like Mirus Nim, you know, the 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 new super manga. Cause I mean, and Dragon Ball Daima, of course. And that comes out in October as well. Super excited. It takes place um takes place before dragon ball super i think if i'm not mistaken they're just stretching that time gap if you will but anyway guys i gotta get ready for work let me know what y'all think down in the comment section down below guys that's all i got for right now until next time thanks for watching and bye bye